Alright, so in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can create the right file sizes for Etsy digital wall art. And I'm going to share with you some templates you can use post sales as well to make the whole thing smoother for your customers. I started selling digital wall art as an experiment a little while ago on Etsy, and it took me a long time to research the correct formats for creating artworks and coming up with a workflow that was really efficient. And um, I'm going to share with you everything I've learned, and I hope that it saves you lots of time moving forwards. Okay, so let's get straight to it. So the first thing you want to do on Etsy is have a look at your competition and see what file sizes they're offering, because that's probably what customers will expect to receive from you. So these are the five most common ones that you see a lot on Etsy. There's sometimes another one, which is just a square format. You can add that if you like. Um, I don't offer square in my shop, so I'm just showing you what I do. So um, on the far right, this one is the two to three ratio. And um, as you can see, all of these sizes below um, fit into the two to three ratio. So um, a customer can print out any size they like, but if they want to use one of these standard sizes, then they know they need the two to three ratio file. And when I'm creating the artwork, I always create a file that's in the largest size in that ratio, so 24 by 36. That's the one that's outlined in pink. And then um, to the left of that, we've got the international paper sizes. And then to the left of that, we've got the three to four ratio, and then the four to five ratio, and then a separate 11 by 14 inches file, which is just one file on its own. <laughs> this seems to be a really popular size, so you'll see um, most shops have that just as their own separate um, file. So now that we know which sizes and files we need, we can go to the next step, which is um, actually not this yet. I'll go over this later, but basically this is something that you can add with your digital files. Um, so your customer receives this along with their artwork, and this just explains to them how to pick the right size for printing. And I highly recommend including this so you don't get every customer sending you questions about which one they should print out. Um, and I'll, I'll include this file in the link below. And I also recommend you create like a custom post on your listing photos that again, just visually lays out the different file sizes. So it makes it really easy for customers to understand straight away when they buy the artwork from you, they receive these you know, five or six different files and basically they can print out pretty much any size they want. So, um, and I recommend doing something like this where you have the frame sizes or something visual so people really understand it straight away. Otherwise, they might be a little bit confused if it's just text. And a lot of shops don't do this, so I just recommend doing this because it just adds that extra level of um, customization to your shop. And then the next step is, um, I'm gonna copy this now actually. So this is the artwork that I'm going to be using. And we are now going to create this file. So I'll explain quickly what I like to do when I'm creating the, um, the files for my artwork. So I have one file and I have five different canvases and then I copy and paste my artwork. And then um, let's see, let's center this, the align tools. So um, I created it in this size canvas, so it fits perfectly. So now we're going to copy it, paste it, and move it to the next one. And now I'm just going to hold down Shift and Option on a Mac and just make it a little bit smaller and then use the Align tools to make sure that it's centered. And then I'm going to eyeball it a little bit. So I'm going to make it tiny little bit smaller. I'm just going to do it a little bit quickly right now so we don't take too long in this step because um, it's actually the next step I want to show you is how to create this file with my tips and tricks to save you time but just so you kind of get the idea of how to do this um, just very quickly. Obviously I would spend a lot longer getting all of this perfect um, and then when we get to the other ones the ratio, sorry, the ratio is a little bit different so what you might want to do is depending on your artwork and um, how you want it is um, first of all let's scale it down a little bit more and as you can see there's now like a lot of space on these sides and um, I don't like that so I'm going to ungroup so um, shift command G on Mac and now I can move these individually 
Again, I'm doing this very quickly now because it's just for the video, just so you understand how I like to do it. Um, so I'm just moving these out a little bit, like that. So I might play around with that a little bit later, but let's copy and paste it and do the last one. So something like this and then just center that. Okay, that was a very, very quick demonstration. Now let's go ahead and create this actual file so you can um, do what I just did, but obviously take a little bit longer. Okay, so let's now create the new file. Oh my gosh, that noise is so loud. Sorry, that is actually my kitchen drain making that sound. I don't know if you heard it, but um, something's very wrong with it. Okay, so new file and we go to interests and then I'm going to put in, um, let's see, the first one is 11 by 14 inches. And then down here, very important to select CMYK because we're gonna design something that will be printed out. So that's CMYK color settings. And I'm gonna choose 300 PPI and that looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna hit create. Okay, so now I'm going to create another artboard next to it. So hit this artboard button and then on the plus, oh my gosh, there's the sound again. I'm sorry, it sounds so scary. <laughs> One of my friends the other day said it sounded like a, like a horror movie sound. Um, okay, so I'm gonna hit the plus button and now we need to modify the size. So let's hit artboard options. And I'm just gonna look at my notes here. So the next one is 16 by 20 inches. 16, 20 inches. And I'm going to name this artboard. Um, so whatever name you want to give your art, I'm just going to use art and hyphen. This is the, um, just looking here, four by five ratio four by five ratio. So it's really important to name the artboards. It's gonna save you a lot of time and confusion for later. Okay, so I'm gonna hit okay. Can move that over a little bit. And now I'm going to make the next one and hit artboard options. So I'm just gonna look at my notes again. The next one is 18 inches by 24 inches. So let's name this one art. And then this ratio is three by four. Three by four ratio. Create. Move that over. And then another one. And go to artboard options. And this one is um, A1. Okay, so A1 is 23 point four inches by 33.1 inches and let's call this one art a1 so and hit okay and then the last one is 24 inches by 36 inches and this one is two by three ratio. Okay, so hit okay. Now let's zoom out. So here we have all of our artboards and I'm just going to select them all and I'm just going to align them so they're all at the top and then spaced out equally. And now we can see they're all named properly and that's so important, that's going to save you so much time if you're exporting like a lot of different artworks to have them all labelled so that afterwards it's not like really confusing when you have to organise them. And now a little tip, if you want to work on just one design for your posters, um, you can go ahead and start now. If you want to work on multiple designs, oh my gosh that sound is getting so loud, I don't know if you can hear it on video, please ignore it. Anyway, if you want to do multiple videos, then, not videos, sorry, artworks, you can now copy these and paste them and then move them down here and then 
um, work on several designs this way. So if you're creating like a bundle of designs, I like to do it like this, have everything in one file so I can see everything, make sure it all looks really good together. And that's the way I like to do it. You might like to do it just one design at a time. Um, but I like it this way. Okay, so let's delete those. And now you're ready to start um, uploading, I mean, just like working on your artworks or these canvases, just the way I did before in this other file, which you have here. So now let's pretend this is like totally done and I'm ready to save these files and upload them to Etsy. The next step is to um, save them and export them properly. So let's do that. Okay, I'm back. I just had a little break because my computer is overheating and I think it's already doing that again. So I don't know, there's some funny noises now in the background. So, um, okay, now we're going to export these files. So we go down to export and then um, I'll show you the way I do it and I've gotten five star reviews from people who have printed them out so you're welcome to use like this as your guideline. So now I'm going to go to JPEG and I do recommend you have a look in your um, competitors shops and have a look if they are providing the files in JPEGs or a different format. So for what I'm doing, uh, JPEG is the standard but you might find that it's something else if you're in a different niche. So I'm going to select JPEG and then I'm going to hit this button, use artboards, and then I'm making sure that all is selected. So I was just going to save what's inside of the artboards and um, nothing around it in case you have some files that you're working on or some text or something like that. Um, it's just everything that's within the artboards. So now I'm going to hit export and then here are the settings that I'm using. Again, you can do your own research and decide if these are right for you or not. So um, make sure CMYK is selected. And then as for the file size, this you might want to play around with. I was finding that when I put this up to the top, the files were just so huge, I couldn't upload them to Etsy. So again, that depends on the type of artwork you're making, etc. So I leave mine at around eight and I select maximum here. And then here are the settings down here I use. Um, resolution, I always go for 300 BBI. You'll find that that is the standard in uh, war art. Um, but again, you can do your own research, decide what's right for you. This works for me. And then I press OK. So now it's exporting the artwork. And then I'm going to show you another little um, tip, just in case your artwork files are huge. And if you're having trouble uploading them onto Etsy, or if you're working on something like a bundle and you just have like loads and loads of files and you can't load them all. So once this has finished exporting, we'll go to the file so I mean folder okay here's the folder so here they are just move them down here so um, now you might want to edit the name if you want to call them something different uh, but the good thing is because we named the artboards here you can see the ratios all there so you don't have to figure out which ones which size um, and then this is where I would then include something like here are some just basic templates I made for this video, you would probably want to customize yours, um, but I'll just show you. Oh wait, no, not that one. <laughs> uh, this one. So you might want to create something like this that has all the measurements so that the customer doesn't need to then go to your Etsy shop and um, you know, like figure out which size they should print, etc. If you include this in their download, then you're saving them a lot of time and you're saving yourself time because they'll probably message you about this if you don't include it. So Okay, so here we have the five artworks and this little template. And then I think the easiest thing to do is to go ahead and create a zip file, even if um, even if you don't actually need to. So I'm gonna press compress. Okay, so now here you can rename this something. Look at this little part there. And then now you upload this to Etsy. Okay, so that's it. And finally, I'm going to attach all of these files in the link below. So um, that is this file here with all of the artboard sizes in case you just want to use this that's already set up and ready to go. And also I'll attach these two templates with the layers so you can very quickly and easily customize them for your branding. And I really hope that all of this saves you time and demystifies the process a little bit. So this is a different style video that I've done before and yeah, I haven't done any screen recordings before so I have no idea if the audio is okay and if there's lots of weird sounds from my computer overheating um, 
If there are, then I'll try and sort them out for the following video. Anyway, thank you for sticking to the end. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video because it does really help. And I hope you have lots of success creating and selling your artworks.